Hi everybody let's uh, discuss a very interesting and a short topic today that is oxygen hemoglobin binding and the factors affecting it welcome to dr ashish conceptuals today we'll be discussing a very very interesting topic that is oxygen hemoglobin binding here let's go to the details you know that the oxygen binds to hemoglobin at lungs the oxygen will combine with the hemoglobin will form a compound that is known as oxyhemoglobin this oxyhemoglobin will be flowing into tissues through the blood when it is reaching the tissues the oxyhemoglobin will dissociate into oxygen and hemoglobin and this dissociated oxygen will diffuse into the tissues and this uh, will be doing the metabolic activities here we are getting a bidirectional equation that is oxygen and hemoglobin combines in the lungs to form the oxyhemoglobin and in the tissues the reverse reaction is occurring to release the oxygen there in this reaction we are having two places one is lungs and other one is tissues so let's make a comparison here i am comparing the lungs to a village where there is everything is cool calm and quiet very low amount of work is happening and very cool breeze is coming and the tissues to an industrial area where high amount of work is happening there is high amount of pollution and the temperature is very high why we are making this comparison here we have to compare different factors in the lungs and tissues so i will be listing three factors here one is oxygen the carbon dioxide and temperature you know that in the lungs which is like a village the oxygen amount is very high in the tissues it is low similarly the carbon dioxide in that village that will be low and in that industrial area it will be high the temperature will be low in that village uh, in the tissues it will be high there so let's make a table for this thing the conditions in the lungs and tissues so in the lungs the oxygen availability will be very high and the oxygen in the tissues is low carbon dioxide is low in lungs and it will be high in tissues and the temperature is low in lungs and high in tissues you know that by our previous discussion so what happens next you have to know one speciality of carbon dioxide here whenever the carbon dioxide is coming in our body that will be combining with water it will be forming one acid there that is carbonic acid commonly known as soda water so this soda water will be dissociating into h plus and hco3 minus that is a reaction that is happening in our body that is catalyzed by one enzyme that is known as carbonic anhydrase what is the importance here so you have to know that wherever there is a carbon dioxide content is high the same time there will be h plus will be produced so high carbon dioxide that means high h plus will be produced there so this is the important reaction we have to consider here so you know that in tissues there will be high carbon dioxide con content this high carbon dioxide content is implying there will be high concentration of h plus ion so you know that whenever there is a h plus ion concentration is high the, that will be causing high acidity so whenever there is high acidity the ph of that area you know that that will be low due to the high acidity there on the other hand you can come come to that lungs there in the lungs the carbon dioxide concentration is low that means low concentration of h plus low concentration of h plus means low acidity and low acidity means high ph so we can improve our list here so in the tissues there will be high h plus high acidity and the ph of that tissues will be very low due to the high acidity there on the other hand in the lungs the h plus concentration will be low acidity will be low and the ph will be high there so this is a list we are obtain here so that you can see that what is the condition in the lungs in in this condition the oxygen and hemoglobin will combine to form the oxyhemoglobin on the other hand in the tissues the conditions are exactly opposite in here the oxyhemoglobin will dissociate to form the oxygen and hemoglobin that oxygen will be released to the tissues there so these are the list of the things that is causing the release and binding of oxygen to the hemoglobin so let's discuss a miscellaneous thing there you know one major reaction that is happening in our body that is known as glycolysis in the glycolysis there is an intermediate that is formed as 13 bpg 13 biphosphoglycerate this 13 biphosphoglycerate will be isomerized to form 23 biphosphoglycerate so this 23 biphosphoglycerate is a very important in this reaction here you know that in tissues there is high energy demand so that there will be high amount of glycolysis so that there will be high amount of 23 bpg will be there on the other hand in the lungs there will be low energy demand so there will be low glycolysis will be occurring so that there is a low amount of 23 bpg will be there 
So what happened? Whenever there is high amount of 2,3 BPG, this high amount of 2,3 BPG will be causing dissociation of oxyhemoglobin into hemoglobin and O2. And whereas there is low 2,3 BPG, that is causing association of oxygen and hemoglobin to form the oxyhemoglobin there. Let's summarize all these things we discussed here. So we have two places, lungs and tissues. And you know in lungs, oxygen and hemoglobin combine to form oxyhemoglobin. In tissues, the oxyhemoglobin dissociate to oxygen and hemoglobin. We compared the lungs to the village and the tissues to a factory area where the reactions are occurring more and more. So in the lungs there will be high oxygen and the tissues there will be low oxygen and in the lungs there is low carbon dioxide and high carbon dioxide in the tissues and in the tissues high concentration of H plus that will be lead to high acidity and that will be leading to low pH and there will be high 2,3 BPG will be there due to the high energy demand. On the other hand, in the tissues, there will be low H plus ions that will be causing low acidity and that will be causing high pH and there will be decreased amount of 2,3 BPG will be favoring the formation. And finally, don't forget the temperature there. The temperature in the lungs is low and in the tissues, it will be high there. So this makes the list of complete thing which will be causing association and dissociation of the oxyhemoglobin. And this list can be used to answer many, many questions there. So that's about uh, that uh, factors affecting binding of uh, oxygen and hemoglobin thank you dr ashik with you and if you are having any queries don't forget to ask in the comment box i will be replying you and don't forget to subscribe my channel here